Rain Wilson is a very bad person. Almost psychotically bad. He almost is like a psycho, like a... Yes. Like, I imagine him living on a farm, conning a family to come stay at the farmhouse, and then killing them. Yes. Right? He's a psycho. He is like the guy from Based on a True Story, Zach. Is that his name? I don't know their names. He is like, uh, you know who he's like? He's like, what was that movie called? Freak? Psycho? Creep 2. Creep 2. Did you see Creep 2? He's like that kind of guy. Like, he's going to do something bad. Let's take a look. It's from Club Random. Bill Maher show. It's going great. Every episode is good. Even when the guest is bad. You're comfortable? I'm very comfortable. See, I didn't even let you get up all the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, well, it's... How it's, comfortable I'm a little, you to be. I'm, a, I'm kind of ungainly. I, um... In all this honesty, show. like, I have noticed I've started grunting when I, like, tie my shoes and get up. Because I've officially hit my late 50s. You know that? You do that... I do that kind of grandpa thing. That kind of, like... Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. You really don't have to be that way because I'm older than you and I'm not that way at all. You're not? Get no, him, fuck no. But you're married. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's your uh, typical club random opening. Everything seems fine, right? We don't really know much about Dwight, do we? The worst part of The Office, looking back, of course. <laughs> Here he is, Dwight. What do people do? People like him. Do people know about him? Has he done anything offensive why do I feel like politically? We has talked... he fucked around? Why do I feel like we talked about him? I feel like he did have. There was some time? incident with him once, right? right? There had to be. Does anyone know his main scandal? He's a real phony baloney. I could see why he gets very little work now after the office is uh, shut down. He gets gigs here and there. They don't seem to last. I don't think people, they, I think people get excited to work with him, thinking Dwight. Of course. Right? They love the office, good memories there. And then once they start working, they kind of want it to, and they want to wrap up the relationship and get him out of here because uh, he's kind of a complete psycho. So we're going to see he that seems today. seems like he's pretty much a hippie douche, but like a... Like, he's almost like a type of guy that's passed us by in, like, 2012, but he's still around doing that. Yeah. Very TV-like character. Uh, like a character where you're supposed to know he's, like, a douche. He's over the top. He's a little too extreme with his little ways. Right? A little too precious. Very strange. Okay, where should we start? Um, You can start at one minute. There was just a little rainism. Okay, one minute in. Here we go. Are you fit? What, but how old are you? 57. What about liquor? You're no, I'm, that? I'm sober. Oh, then you're completely fucked. I had a bad dope trip oh, okay. in my 20s. All I don't know. right, so he's, you know, as I just put out the, the shmisha. He's basically a Redditor personified. Yeah, he could be. Like, everything's wrong with everybody else. Nothing's wrong with him because he's so spiritual. Yeah. He's had his hard times, but he's learning. Yeah, He's yeah. going to do add-ons to mm. every story. Yep. He's a little Danny E. So he's going to tell us why, and this is always a big red flag for me, when somebody is offered some weed and they don't want to do it, so they tell you this wild story, right? Why they can't smoke weed, okay? Which is something I don't believe. I just believe you, you're you very nervous around yourself. You haven't really confronted all your little things. And if the weed is making it too crazy, well, those are things that I think you're trying to hide away. You know, the weed should make you feel great. You should have a fun time with it. But if not, you just say, thank you, I don't smoke. But he's got an excuse, and I could see he's used this, I don't smoke weed excuse here many times and he's worked on this story and he thinks if the story's good enough he'll have a grand excuse as to why he's such a pussy right and he can't smoke the weed let's hear his why i can't smoke weed story completely fucked i had a bad dope trip dope in my 20s i don't know if it was laced with something but <laughs> i was going through a really bad time and i decided to wake and bake on christmas morning laced so they learned this term from the movie Friday. My whole existence, I was wishing for something to be laced. Nothing is ever laced. Nobody's giving you extra for free. No one's lacing shit. Any kid who told you it was laced was a liar. He just got a little high. He don't know laced. Laced with what? It was laced, man, because I got messed up. So it must have been laced. Nothing is laced. 
With what Angel Dust? Is that what it was know. laced with? Nothing's fucking laced. Nobody's lacing you up. Let's trick trick Dwight from the office into going nuts. Let's lace it. Nobody's lacing. It's very illegal, by the way. <laughs> okay, so he was smoking laced up dope. Really bad time, and I decided if to wake and bake buy on Christmas morning. Wake and bake. He decided to wake and bake. This is a guy who doesn't smoke weed. I decided to wake and bake on Christmas morning. You never touch the stuff, have you? There's no wake and bake. Okay. Is that like extreme? Does this make the excuse that you don't smoke now better? See how he adds little things in there. He's an editor. He's a writer. It was a wake and bake, laced dope, wake and bake. So you didn't smoke that same weed the night before? You woke up to brand new weed? That's interesting. A wake and bake. You would think you would have been smoking Santa. that same bag last night. Was it laced last night when you smoked it? Or are you freshly opening this brand new weed Tonight, uh, this morning, if you got the weed last night, nobody gets weed and then goes, I'm saving this for the morning. You smoke it now. The minute you get a new bag of weed. So you're telling me this laced weed, you bought it and then put it aside for the morning for right when you're waking up. Hmm. Interesting story. Got my eye on this story. I'm, I'm sober. Oh, then you're completely fucked. I had a bad dope trip in my 20s. I don't know if it was laced with something, but... I was going through a really bad time, and I decided to wake and bake on Christmas morning while living in a, an abandoned beer brewery in Brooklyn. Really? Like a squatter. And wow. I had a super bad trip. I started shaking. I was sweating. My muscles were, like, contracting in my arms. My heart was racing. What year is this? 90, yeah. okay. 91? Uh, yes. Time out. And then I, we well, am not done yet. <laughs> Come on, Bill. But it happened in the 90s. Yeah. So it, it was a fluke. But I'm not done with my story. Oh, sorry. Because then I saw the face of God. Oh. And then oh. I swore to the face of God that I would never smoke dope again. Boo! Lock him up. Well, so did you see this add-on? So this story wasn't good enough for Bill. Usually that's all you got to say, and it tricks people, the wake-and-bake Christmas morning in the abandoned warehouse. <laughs> yeah, man, I was tripping in the abandoned warehouse, so obviously I can't smoke weed anymore. You get it, right? Everyone accepts. Not Bill. Bill's going to always throw that wrench into things when you least expect it. You know, he's told this story a million times. Everybody swallowed it up. They don't even give a fuck what he's saying. Not Bill. <laughs> That was the 90s. It was a fluke. And I, I know what he means. It was a fluke that he had a trip and it was a bad trip. That was just a fluke. I love that. That's so... He's got a kid in him, man. Bill Maher's got a boyish fucking kid in him. Oh, I love him. Oh, come on. That was the 90s. It was a fluke. <laughs> oh. He doesn't even need to listen. See, Bill's good at this. So then Dwight... He and that's all you fucking on. are. You are Dwight. And Dwight was a fucking disgusting character. There are a lot of disgusting people on that show. A lot. <laughs> and Michael Scott wasn't one of them. But uh, Dwight was. Jim. It's, can they make an edit? Re-edit him out. If you like that. That's <laughs> borderline gay. <laughs> so, yeah, you're just Dwight to me. And now you're gonna do this ad on, okay. Flu, but I'm not done with my story. Oh, sorry. Oh, because yeah. then I saw the face of God. Oh. And then I swore to the face of God that I would never smoke dope again. What did he look like? <laughs> <laughs> What's this face look like? It, it, it looked like, in all seriousness, it looked like a Mark Rothko painting. It looked like an abstract mm -hmm. sunset mm -hmm. like over the Tahitian ocean. That's funny, because I always thought God would look like James Woods. Because he's also a prick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, God's a prick, and in kind of the same way <laughs> James Wood, you know. In the same way? I mean, if, well, if you read But the, James Wood was brilliant in that there was a, he, he had a time, he had a period of time when he was doing some of the best acting. Actu right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, almost always as a prick. Yes. <laughs> so how much we can call that 
acting is is under okay. discussion. Watch but this. yes, he he absolutely. Well, you well, have zero fear of James Woods watching this podcast. And um, I have zero and fear <laughs> of what James Woods can do to me. Oh, <laughs> that's so it's, what, a pa- it's a that's power what I, play. That's okay. what I have. I get it. No, no. I, you know what? I would abs- I would love if James Woods did this podcast. By the way, I, I have all stripes Stop on this up. show. Did you hear a story about the 9/11 pilot? Practice thing from back in the day from from 9/11. He refers to Bill as James. I don't want to give it away. He something about James Woods, his attractiveness, and how Bill's like James Woods. That's not coming up right now. Um, Maybe. Okay. I don't want to listen to this whole James Woods shit if that's not right around the corner, though. (laughs) Let me find out. Mm, That's okay. I I think. Yeah, I don't think it's important. I thought that's what we were what we were gonna see though. Okay, so um, go to when's our first instance? Seven fifty-five, and what happens here? Um, so we'll you'll see. It's better okay. if I don't say. All right, here it goes. This is where things start getting weird. Yes. Okay. Ends of his work, and I hope you would agree with me. Uh, I don't know how indoctrinated you are. I hope not too much. That we we don't have to have share politics to be friends with people. I agree 100%. Oh, good. A 1,000%. Because I cannot stand the attitude of, if you don't agree with me, I unfriend you. Remember the whole thing about, like, someone shook hands with George Bush? Yes. Junior at, like, the U.S. Open or something like that. And, like, you shook hands with a war criminal? It was Ellen. Yeah. (laughs) You don't want to acknowledge that. It was Ellen. (laughs) Why is that something we want to avoid? It was Ellen. I, I, it wasn't her fault. It doesn't even right? matter who it was. The point is, it's like, you know who else is rather chummy with George Bush? I don't mean chummy like they, hey, George, Michelle Obama. Obama. Yeah, both the Obamas. And you know who um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was very close Scalia. with? Scalia. Scalia. And You're Sonia not going to stump so- me, Mayor. What? You're not going to stump me. <laughs> Did you call me mayor? Did you say I'm, I'm Bill Mayor? You edit it to make oh. it sound like I said Mar. Wow, first Ooh, you're late. And- you hmm? called him mayor. Look at this. So what were you doing there? <laughs> you know his name isn't Bill Mayor. Why did you do that? And Bill doesn't like this. Watch this. <laughs> did you call me mayor? Did you say I'm, I'm Bill Mayor? You edit it. Make oh. it sound like I said Mar. Wow, first you're late, and now you mispronounce my name. Wow. I, no, I still like Ooh, you. He was late, but, too. Uh, you were great on Politically Incorrect. Thanks. And you were great on your show. Oh, that ended okay. a while ago, <laughs> though. <laughs> oh, did you hear that little diss there? So they're getting kind of mean with each other. They don't really like each other. And this here. is only seven minutes in. It's this just is seven starting. minutes in. Do you hear that little thing at the end? And you were great on your show. That ended a while ago, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I have a show now. <laughs> so, how do I get? By a show? the way, I was. I know you hear this like. Okay. Was there more here? So then they start talking about a succession. They both disagree, and if they like the ending or wow. not, pretty much everything they bring up, they're disagreeing on. Um, you can go to thirty-one thirty. Rain starts talking about his book. Ooh, Rain's got a little book out, huh? That's why he's here. Ah. 3130, most replayed. Here we go. These episodes feature Whoa. direct audio from ID's all American true crime shows Swamp Murders, deadly. Highway to Hell, and Southern Fried Homicide. You'll hear from investigators and family members close to these cases and learn about some shocking stories. Wow. Like how a bank president was found at the bottom of a swamp and Jesus. what happened when a former prom teen went missing. You can also listen to all of season one now. It's a lot of true crime and all available to listen to today. Listen to Hot and Deadly wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah. Okay. You know, I think part go. of the problem is, and it's something I address in, in my book, Oh, uh, we don't have to do talk the, about. No, no, we we're here. Uh, I'm right. so we're sorry. We're promoting things. I wasn't gonna. Uh, Show forget. boom. See, that's what I mean. He's like a Reddit. Ooh, to look at this. No, no, we're, we're Hold here. Hold on, look at the book. I'm right. so we're sorry. We're promoting the, things. I wasn't. Gonna... Show boom. Why we need spiritual revolution by Rain Wilson. I believe that's a grunge font. It's a mid-level menu font where it's got the. Uh, you know, it looks like it's like a stencil, you know, it's got like a uh, spray painted See on. See what I mean about Look. how he's like stuck in like 2012? Look at this like asshole. Nobody would attempt to. Peddling show. God forbid anyone buy show boom. I mean, come we got to get a copy of show boom now. I know. 
Okay, so we share to promote Soul Boom. Let's hear about it. Oh, that. we don't Let's have to do talk the, about it. No, no. We don't, we're here. For, I'm right, so we're sorry. We're promoting things. I wasn't going to uh, forget it, uh, although. It's got you know lots what? of God stuff in it. You're going to hate this book, Bill. I'm so glad you did. Soul Boom. I eat it for breakfast. <laughs> Why we need a spiritual revolution? Mm. Well, I am going to crack this. I'm actually be very interested to read this. Wow, you really spent some time on this. I did. I spent three like years. Like you writing filled that. up all these blank pages. Yeah, I wrote all of those words myself. Did you know before you started that it was going to be 272? Um, I had no. I had no idea. And yet it yeah. happened. Mm. It happened. I think yeah. that's the work of God. And when I say God, I mean. James Wood. <laughs> okay, Soul okay. Boom. Why do we need a sp spiritual so, part of, so part what kind of a book is this? This is not a novel. No, it's a book on spirituality. It's right up your alley. Well, <laughs> um, but spirituality is such a vague term. It is that, a vague term. So I, I, you could define it in a way that I would completely embrace. Yeah, well, I, I have a whole section on why I love and respect atheists in here. And, but uh, you are not one. I'm not an atheist. Right. I'm a full-blown theist, but oh. I love atheists. Is that because of that theist. night with the pot um, and the God face? No, it really isn't. What the fuck? Um, it was a long, He's many, kidding. many years of of search, and it came from a lot of personal pain and Ooh. struggle and turmoil. Okay, so he's been searching. He's had personal pain, turmoil. That's not good. A guy like this, dressed like this, this is like a Chris Ryan situation. Yes. Christopher Ryan. Exactly. Hey, uh. Where it's like, he's just so deep. What did you do that was so bad? Are you going to tell us in the book, Soul Boom? Are you going to tell us the disgusting, sick shit you did to women? <laughs> What did you do that's making life so painful as Dwight from The Office? It's a long, many, many years of, of search, and it came from a lot of personal pain and struggle and turmoil mm -hmm. where I really went on a kind of a spiritual quest in my wow. 20s where I was trying to figure out why the fuck I was so unhappy and What's conflicted. the most painful thing that ever happened to you? Yeah. Um, Brad, you sound like my therapist. You have a therapist? I've had a therapist for Bill, 20 Bill, Bill, one Bill. years. Isn't that proof it's not working? No, Bill, I'm Bill, doing great. Bill, it's Bill, amazing. Bill. The, okay, Hold on a I second. Hold get, on a second. Like, Eat your words. I am <laughs> I am happy, content. Really? In a in a rich, fulfilling marriage. Oh, oh great. I, my, I'm doing incredible creative. That marriage is suspect as fuck. I imagine this fucks marriage. Oh. I'd no, love some man. details. Are we going to get some Jonah Hill style tweets from you? For sure. You've done everything Jonah Hill has done, plus more. I hope. The hat says all I need to know. When yeah, that hat. That hat on. Really going out to make the trouble, hat, baby. Even this. You know, I feel like you bought this shirt after you watched the gay episode of The Last of Us. <laughs> yes, you yes. know, like you decided you were going to be like that guy. I bet you like think you're going to live on a farm all alone too. It's like in after the office was popular, he tried as hard as he possibly could to be not like Dwight. Yeah. To be super distinctive from Dwight and to be this like hipster. I think he's and then very he lost. Got, like crazy up his own ass in that phase and then never changed. Yeah. I think he's very lost. I think he's got some very dark secrets. Or if the secrets are dark, I mean Bill asked you, he goes, Well, what's the what's all this pain about? What's the worst stuff? And you kind of avoided the question. No answer. So are you just peddling soul boom without really going through any pain? Illegal, I say. Could that be it too? Could he be trying to peddle to a certain crowd here, you know? Grift? I think so. Maybe, maybe he hasn't really gone. What kind of pain did you go through? I must know. Second, like, eat your words. I am <laughs> I am happy, content. Really? In a in a rich, fulfilling marriage. Oh great. Uh, my I'm doing incredible creative projects. I've got my life on track and a and a and a oh. rich, deep perspective that he but, but, for for fifty minutes a week for twenty years at great expense. Sorry, Hollywood. Wait, so how many fifteen minutes a week for twenty years? He's been doing this? Is that what he just said? I think 50 minutes, minutes a week 50? for 20 years at great expense. Sorry, minutes. Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> I, he has helped me on this path. Okay. Ooh. So it's absolutely worth the money. Okay. Wow. So, 
I have a New York First Times all, best-selling book. I have a right. successful I show on, with... on Peacock. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, <coughs> we're going we're to plug that. Do you need a cough Bill, drop? Bill, no. Bill, Do you need a Heimlich? Bill, Bill. <coughs> Do you need a hand Bill job? Bill rules. No. I know he's the well, fucking Well, he's going to be uh, interviewing Dr. Peters. Ooh, I we cannot should make wait some bets on how that's going to go. Yeah, maybe we should do something special for the big Peterson Bill Maher release. Like, is Bill when does that come out? Sunday? Usually Sunday. Sunday. Or early Monday. So, yeah, they posted a picture, a nice promo pic of the good doctor and Bill, and they both had this smile on their face. And like, I'm praying it's not like a banked episode and there's going to be another uh, guest on Monday because he always films well, a million in one day. So we cross our fingers it's yeah. on Sunday. I can't wait to see what they come up with. But do you think, though, that Bill is going to like eat up everything that Jordan Peterson says? Know. Or do you think he's going to be abrasive? I don't know. I mean, you really, Bill Maher is so unpredictable. I know. that's I just it, it, Which wait. is weird because he's a political guy. You would think he was just going to side with whatever libs side with, but no. He doesn't. It's almost like he has zero information, so all his takes are, like, organic. Like, all his takes are, uh, you've never heard him before. I They're fresh. Fucking wait to see. <laughs> he's got fresh takes. They're always cockamamie. But he's got fresh takes. You'll you never know what he's going to do. And nobody really goes, oh please, to Jordan Peterson. Exactly. Either they yell at him and hate him, or they eat it all up. They don't. No, go. it could be great. I'm really looking forward to that. You know, uh, speaking of the Petersons, Michaela has been reinvestigated for the p photo of her and Tate. Remember that? Yes. This is how we met Tate. Well, Michaela Peterson posted the photo of her and Tate. Remember Tate sitting there like this at the hookah bar in Romania? Oh, the best. And this photo was so famous. This is why we got in touch with Tate, and we interviewed Tate about what he was doing with Michaela. He said, oh, Michaela's coming out for business. We made fun of Michaela. He kind of knew. Remember, didn't I say something like, Michaela's not that high. You thought maybe, but then you're like, I can't touch that, right? And he's like, Kinda. Right? Didn't we share a moment where we made fun of Michaela's looks? I kind of remember. I go, she was all greasy. She comes off the airplane straight to Romania, straight to the hookah bar. She's all her. She didn't even freshen up in the bathroom. Her hair was crazy. Right off the airplane. So it, uh, I guess Jordan Peterson went after Tate. He said something disparaging about well, Tate, right? Tucker interviewed Tate and then a lot of like conservative women types on Twitter started going, oh, Tate's actually a pimp. He's actually a horrible, horrible yeah. guy. Conservatives shouldn't look up to him. And Tucker so that, couldn't have possibly known any of that, though. That discourse kind of went viral. Yeah. And then Jordan Peterson retweeted it and was like, a pimp is the lowest person you could be. Exactly. Something like that. And so basically then, said Tate is the lowest of the low. And that sparked everyone going, oh, yeah. And then a million pictures of Michaela and Tate. Yes. And people looking into why Michaela Peterson needed to learn business advice from Tate, whose business is sex trafficking, apparently. So, yes, this is everything I hoped for. I remember, I'm like, we got to reopen this case. And they did. So they've been digging and digging. It was There's some bonus pictures, too. But what was she really doing there? I would just die. What business now, do you need with Tate? We've seen all of Tate's businesses now. I'm more interested than ever to know what she was doing there. Yeah. And what lessons did she take home from Romania? Does Jordan even know? I know. I, how did he miss that? He could have totally forgotten that that happened. So very cool. Hopefully that comes up on this episode. Okay. Well, do we keep playing from here? Um, yeah, so they do, uh, are you at 3930? 34, 16. You want me to go to 3930? Um, uh, you can go to 3520. 3520. Okay, what's happening here? So this whole next kind of 10 minutes or so is just them. So Bill, well, he'll play this part for a second. And then so I it. hear from what I read that um, therapists are not just for completely crazy people anymore. Is there any truth to that? Because <laughs> when I hear therapists, I think, oh, you're nuts. So you Thank have you. to go to this doctor to uh, fix Well, I am, not, I am nuts. And mm -hmm. I've had a but lot of struggles are. and I've had a lot of, Ooh. you know, I've had a lot of really dark times. You asked me what the dark A lot of dark times, a lot of struggles. I am nuts. I mean, he's admitting he's a killer. 
What dark time? I must know. Are they in this book? Is Shoal Boom out? Um, Get a copy see. of Shoal Boom. Get an e-copy. <laughs> we got to find out what dark secrets. Does anybody have a copy of Shoal Boom at home? Struggles, and I've had a lot of... You know, I've had a lot of really dark times. You asked me what the darkest time yeah, what's is. The, I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get really oh, specific. What's the Why? bad shit, man? Yeah, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go. Do you hear Bill? Bill's turning cool. He's what's the, the bad shit, man? I would die to hang out. With Mocking him. his tragedy. And look at what Rain wills. And what kind of this? You can't be named Rain. Sorry. Is that even your real name? The way he holds himself here. Oh, and get really specific. What's the bad shit, man? Well, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go completely there, but I will say that I had many sleepless nights. <laughs> oh, you know, know. Wait, what um, did he just say? He was gonna say, Did someone touch you? And then he changed his mind. No. <laughs> oh, he he gave up on But look. I will say that did someone I had many sleepless nights. Nice. You know <laughs> sleepless um, nights. Uh, with addiction issues addiction. and suicidal ideation. Woo! Suicidal ideation. What does that mean? When you idolize suicide? I mean, isn't that just when you think about committing once so in a while? So you were thinking about normal. committing. You were going to commit. You were going to do the cry and die. <laughs> he looks like a guy who'd do the cry and die. <laughs> to me, suicidal ideation just means like you are thinking about ways you could do it if you had to. What kind of think is what kind of thoughts are those, Kanye? <laughs> you know right? what I mean? Isn't that normal? Uh not for me. <laughs> so he's thinking about suicide, he's thinking about killing himself, killing others. I mean it's not uh, something you really have to dwell on. Addiction issues bro. and suicidal ideation and Ang anxiety attacks that would render attacks. me rendering uh, shaking on the floor, shaking on the floor, depressive all, episodes. All before the office. This was all before the office. Right. I had some bad times during the office too. I bet you not as bad. Not as bad. Right. Because like what you, I feel like I <laughs> went through the same thing, which was yeah so when I was bitch ass Dwight was shaking on the floor, crying, having episodes. That to me is non forgivable. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm so sick of these people having fucking episodes. It's not allowed. Grow up. Yes, and it happened during the office. Did anyone else see that? Did Jim <laughs> see that? Did Creed see that? I hope Creed. Poor Creed. Didn't see. Creed's probably scared out of his mind. That's why he had no lines. <laughs> he couldn't talk. He was so scared of Dwight. I was a failing loser. Life sucked, and I felt sucky about it. No. And then when I was doing better and that's success, not true. no, that's not. That's absolutely success not true. came your I way. I was not a fa I was not a failing loser. I, I was, was a struggling actor. And well, I that's was, a failing was, loser. And then you get. Yes, you became there you go. I was not a failing loser. I was a struggling actor. Well, that's a failing loser. Yes, thank you. Is there anything more pathetic than an actor of any kind? I mean, if they only knew how stupid they're doing, or how stupid they're being, by being actors. Really. It's a failure's gig, I think. That's why I, um, whenever I have a skit to do on the show, I do very poor acting. <laughs> okay, if you're good at acting, you're a bad, 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 bad guy that needs to be, uh, people need to beware of. And a struggling actor is not failing loser. Dwight, I guys. was getting acting work. I was living in New York. I was a theater on, actor. Show business. Okay, show business is a, is a hit or miss league, babe. Hit or miss. You know what? If you Thank uh, you. make or miss, I'm sorry, that's the term the NBA uses. It's a make or miss league, show business. If, if you babe. Um, are, you know, you want to call it working or uh, starting. I like how no matter, uh, people like pour their hearts out to them. They tell them like stuff they've been working on in therapy for like 40 years. It's, they are very certain this is their problem. <laughs> and then Bill's like, oh, come on. <laughs> Obviously that's not what happened. Undoing the years of therapy. I hope so. And he just does it so carelessly. Remember he did this to Bella Thorne. Yep. Where she's like, I was raped. He's like, oh, please, let me guess. The guy came by and said you were pretty. <laughs> Come on, you kids and your fun. And she's like, uh, uh. she had to go straight to the doctor. <laughs> That's what Bill is great at. That's what makes this show so good. This oh, it's is amazing. Now, the color grade's a little off. The color grade. It does seem like he's brightened. 
around it a bit. Well, it's weird. It's very it's fuzzy. Very it's very foggy and smoky. There's a big thick screen over it, like a screen door. If you're not, what, what if about you this? If about, you're not doing well, if oh, people, if you're not riding high, you're riding low. There's what is, no middle in show. What about being an artist? What about because that's oh. what I. That's how I viewed oh, myself. Oh please! Well. I was a theater artist. I went no. to theater school, and I was <laughs> oh. a theater artist, and I was making I plays. Imagine a man just going, no, <laughs> no, no. And but I does. was. I was a theater artist. No. Okay. And he's just doing this to promote his book. And Bill is not giving this any thought. By the way, he's just saying no and fairly certain that everything Rain says is bull. Well, I was a theater artist. I went to theater school and I was oh. a theater artist and I was making plays about the human condition. Yeah, but you really wanted to be on a hit show. I didn't. I, I you, swear I didn't. Eventually I was like, fuck, I'd love to pay off these student loans. Ooh. I better get some TV gigs. Of course. I didn't have aspirations for stardom at all. I've looked this weird, ungainly. But that's why you're happy, is because your life, you chose a- I want them to quadruple student loans of anyone who has one. Have I ever told you that aspect of my politics? I want these kids so buried that they can't even get a fucking burger from McDonald's. I don't know why people care if others are financially cooked. I love, when I hear people with student loans, I start hating them. I do. Oh, I have all these student loans. <laughs> Miserable. Look, no, it's, you, not you, it's not circumstantial, dude. Who would know better, me or you? <laughs> um, I'll let the audience decide. Put it in That's your YouTube. That's a good one to use. When you think so, uh, so small of somebody. Who would know better, me or you? Come on. That's what I think, too. I use that one all the time. When I'm in an argument with somebody. Well, who would know about her, me or you? <laughs> you. <laughs> and then we share ideas, collab. It's the bill. Two comments. Who would know better about you? <laughs> Come on, me or you. Uh, okay, but I, I just think maybe you're not. Uh, when, I was, uh, when, is, when I was in the office, I spent several years really mostly unhappy because it wasn't enough. Enough and this what? is what Wasn't I'm looking at for the now mighty and then realizing now, like, I'm on a hit show, uh, Emmy nominated every year, uh, making lots of money with working with, like, Steve Carell and Jenna Fisher and John Krasinski and That's these amazing writers right. and incredible directors. Oh, like BJ Novak? I'm on one of the great TV shows. People love it. Right. All time classic. And I wasn't enjoying it. I was thinking about it's why I'm- you're a loser freak. You were the freak. You were just Dwight. Why, what's to enjoy? People were laughing at you in your big head. You were a nut, okay? <laughs> we weren't on your side. We were laughing at this psycho in the show. It was a fool's watch. You, Creed, Phyllis, what do you think, we like you? We're pretending <laughs> that we like you because we like laughing at you. We're confused. You're William Hung. You're... White Claw Gabe, Uncle Gabe, you're a laughing meme, and that's why you felt miserable. And I hope you feel miserable today when you watch this little video that you can't get over. From Red Bar, send it to him, guys. <laughs> am I not a movie star? Why am I not the next Jack Black or the next Will Ferrell? He and how come I can't have a movie career? Yeah, why don't I have how do you say this? deal? That's so odd. And why don't... That's exact, that's so honest, and that's so what everybody, to a degree, in show business is. Yeah. Everybody who's not at the absolute tippity-toppity-top of that tall ladder called stardom is like, yes. And, and you're like, well, you're just, you're a terrific actor, and you're doing very well. You're not Brad Pitt? Okay, they was only going to make one of him. But okay, the, can I point one little thing out? That's very reasonable, yeah. So, Rain is here to promote his book. He obviously has yeah. this... He's almost has a pre-prepared sermon. That yes, he does. as most like, guests do like you can when they're it. doing interviews. You can hear it in his voice when he's like, I was on he's the office. He's gearing up to I say should, all the stuff he planned. I should be at my highest when I was on the he's office. He's practiced but this. But I was actually at my lowest because I wasn't spiritually fulfilled. Like he He's said got a story, a like times. a story you deliver to the morning news team. Exactly. On the Today Show where you got to do all the talking. They're just sitting there smiling. But we know, Bill, 
and he knows Club Random. Yeah. And Club Random is a conversation. This is where I have a drink. And exactly. Have a it's not meant for really Rain to talk about himself at all. So this is almost a double feature of the Steiny situation. They're completely not on the same page. Not on the same page at all. Rain really. He just wants to get out. He his wants thing to start pitching the book. He wants to start telling his long-winded stories, and he wants Bill to just sit there and buy it. Very, but and and you know, speaking of succession, I always thought Logan Roy was a great example of the exact person you don't want to be. Okay. The, the succession talk. So they kind of go in circles about how Rain thinks. Oh, you just have to have this spiritual journey to be happy, and Bill's take is. If you're an actor in Hollywood, just shut up and enjoy the money. Yeah. So uh, you can go to 42 minutes now. 42 minutes even. Yep. Here we are. And, you know, this is just a, it's kind of some rain discovery. I think there's something there. Yes. I'd like to test the waters with rain on Instagram and his social accounts with the help of the guys. Uh, just to kind of give him a light scare. See what he's nervous about. See He's what he's worried about. Him. Get his anxieties cooking. I like to cook these guys up to a high level of anxiety, which should be illegal to do if you know they have anxiety. And it should be illegal for me to do this to them. <laughs> but you know what? You're showing me the buttons. You're giving me the access code. We're going to type it in. We're going to see what the buttons do. Now, Rain, you could ignore all of it. And then, okay, we're pretty much done with you until we see you again. Or... You could be one of my little, what do they call those probiotics floating around in my damn gut from all the products I'm taking? <laughs> you could be one of my probiotic beans in my gut and you could start making a little scene, just a small scene. Who the fuck is, re I wanna see you really go back to that dark place. When they've got these mental troubles, I like to mess with it. I don't know if that's legal to say. One year, that could not, that could be illegal one day. So I strike that from the record. I'm just joking around. These were all college style, college level pranks, <laughs> pranks that are okay by the school. Okay. Not college pranks where two kids get arrested in life in jail. College pranks where the school is okay, them, the parents are cool with it, everything's fine, there's nothing illegal. But I feel something in my gut. Yes, let's give him a little. Give him a little red bar hello. Okay? Let's see what he does. Birth. They've uh, made great strides. Starvation, poverty. And just a lot of the world lives what to but, somebody who was alive even 100 years ago would look like an incredibly cushy with life with, with incredible conveniences. And we, as soon as we take them in, we take them for granted. And I just... But Thoreau says the mass of men live lives of quiet desperation, and I think that's true. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> a quote like that can get you shot around here. You rip off a quote like that? No. How long did that take to memorize? Six weeks? <laughs> That's disgusting. Quotes mean nothing, by the way. I hope you know that. Just because something is well written from a quote doesn't mean that's how you get out of a sticky situation, which you guys use it for. Oh, but here's a quote, so... Well, yes, I guess you're off the hook because some other guy said something. Yeah, I got a quote, too. It's from Shalvo Pancakes. Want to hear it? Jesus Christ, you faggots in your quotes. And I just... But Thoreau says the mass of men live lives of quiet desperation, and I think that's true because I think that whether it's a middle-class life and, and you, you know, you're working a job and you're making... Quiet desperation, that's what you think? So because it's literary, it's okay to do with your fucking Google glasses? Those are thick. You look retarded. <laughs> well, Justin Thoreau told me that I'm allowed to be a faggot. <laughs> no. No, the quote doesn't save you. Where's his shirt from? It ain't Filson. Where's this thin fucking cheap ass flannel from? You shop at Target? I want to stalk Dwight. <laughs> well, wait till you see what Pip he's done since this interview. Oh, I came can't out. wait. Okay, let's hear the rest of that. 
whether it's a middle class life and and you, you know you're working a job and you're making 60 70 grand a year and you've got Domino's pizza on the table right. like how many people living that life are truly like satisfied and content maybe some are i'm sure some are and how many Uh-oh. how many people how, in oh. these hollywood hills that surround you oh, these i won't hollywood. give your address Oh, I want to give it right now. I want to Wait. so that they beep it out. I want to do it Why? so bad. But Why do you want to do it? Why do you want to mess with him? You got a problem with Bill? Bill's being himself. He's having a good time. So look at that. Ooh, I want to give away your address. Bill's done the wiser. <laughs> Bill's so high. Look at him. Wait, address? You're crazy. Keep talking. You're watching him as if it's The Office. You're just watching him and happily watching a show. And he's going, I want to give away your address. <laughs> Why? Why were you thinking about that? Why do you want to? Oh, my God. You see that? Ooh. <laughs> Why do you want to give away his address, bro? <laughs> oh, I want to give it right now. I want to <laughs> Why? beep it out. I want to do it so bad, but I'm not going to. Come but on. How many people? Do the trifecta. Come late. Mispronounce my name and give my address. Yeah. I was on Hit time. Hit the hat trick, baby. If, I ah. was on time, 5.35. <laughs> I was five minutes late. Oh, my God. You admit late? <laughs> five minutes late? You asshole. Cassandra. Wayne's role. Bill has a schedule to stick to. What do you think? He just sits around doing nothing every minute of his I know. Day He's planned. very busy. You and you showed up five minutes late with Shoal Boom? What the fuck, man? Sorry, I was late. I was printing out a copy of Shoal Boom for you. I'm kind of doing this like Caroline Calloway style. Bill's not on spiritual time. Sorry. That's crazy. You admit five minutes late. That's pathetic. I've never been late to anything. <laughs> that is seriously the most chuggy thing you could do <laughs> is to show up late. I mean, that is fucking pathetic. Really? Look at him. How many people? Do the trifecta. Come late, mispronounce my name, and give my address. I was on Hit time. Hit the hat trick, baby. If, I ah. was on time, 5.35. <laughs> I was five minutes late. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. But oh you my. lied twice. I was on time. I was on time. I was five minutes late. So you tried to get away with the I was on time shit for a little bit. 5.35. <laughs> I was five minutes late. I'm just kidding. Oh my God! I'm gonna kick your ass. Ooh, no! Wait, I... why? why? Oh my God! I'm gonna kick your ass. Why? So there's this type of. So guy. you this are mad? Almost like a, I didn't even realize this, but this is like a parallel between the Steiny and Andrew thing. These guys who have these giant egos, they mm-hmm. must like plan how everybody is gonna react to yes, them in their head, and if they it do. doesn't go the way that they expect, yes, they, it like, throws them off. They get pissed off, but there's no way to explain, explain it. it because it's nonsensical. So they just have to go. I'm just. Let's hear that uh, death threat again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my God! I'm gonna kick your ass. No, I could kick your ass. Ooh, why? <laughs> you practice? Let me guess, karate like Dwight. And both of these Psycho. times, it's a big, huge guy going after a small, yep. innocent guy. Small, innocent, nothing. First giant monster. And he really is lumbering like Andrew. Uh, all gas, no brakes, where he pushes a girl. He uses his size to kind of corner a girl. Andrew, uh, what was his name? All gas, no brakes. Yeah. Uh, what is that fuck's name? He's so wow, disappeared. He's forgotten. Wow, he's bro, you already. got canceled. Holy shit. I want to say Andrew I can't Schultz. think of it. Andrew. What the fuck? Solomon? It's completely gone. Andrew? He's oh, He's gone from the mind. That's insane, bro. Oh, no. You got canceled. <laughs> We can't think of his name. All gas, no brakes, disgusting thing, oh look like shares it. I'm not searching it. I got to just remember on my own. Shares mask. Callahan, but someone reminded me in the Andrew chat. Callahan. I totally forgot. Wow. We forgot about you. You're Holy sex shit. Guy. And by the way, you ain't never coming back. We ain't letting you back. We're reminding everybody, person by person. <laughs> okay, so he wants to kick some ass. Yeah, Just I'm sure admit you, it. I'm sure you. I'm could. beefier. You are. You're willowy. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> you well, might be gainly, but you're also willowy. It's funny. I have Chuck Liddell is our our 
the guest after you today. Okay. So, I mean, I was thinking before I came over here, well, if there's one guy I don't want to get a, in a fight with, <laughs> and it turned out to be and you. It's me. <laughs> uh, so, but, okay. so, so. so the, of the people living here in the Hollywood Hills and the people that you know, how many people live lives of uh, well, grace and contentment? Okay. With, no, keep you, watching this. Keep part. watching this. Okay. With their lot. Okay, but. Where did you read that you're promised grace and contentment you. and pure happiness in life? That's not what life is. Life is a game, and if you win it, mm-hmm. you're probably in a minority. And even if you do win it, you don't win it 12 to I 12 see, to 1. You win it 7 to 5. I see why you love the ending of Succession so much. <laughs> you you are a... You're like, life is a shit and then you die, kind of. Uh, no, I, life I, is not, no, I'm not because, saying, li- I'm saying life is is good. Yeah. And even people who, uh, I'm telling you, 100 years ago, people did not have lives as easy and good as we have them. We, we forget and that. And yet people are more unhappy than they've ever been. How the fuck do you know? Mm-hmm. Because, how, how, because I, you, can how look happy- at, you can look at suicide rates for, for Gen Z people. They've, they've tripled in the last 20 That's years. That's true. Yeah, that's, they, that the generation, mental health, yes. the mental health crisis okay, is well, out of control. Right that's now. true, but now we're talking about a different subject. We're talking about the advent of social media and smartphones, which is only about 12, 15 years I old. I don't, I don't know that a hundred percent of this oh, that mental all, health. Oh, that is all where that's. I coming. think there's a big percentage, but could it be 30, 40 percent? But it's, I mean, of course, it's tied in with the materialism because what are you, th- you know, what is Kylie Jenner selling well, when she's- Well, climate, but climate anxiety and political division and disunity right. and- yeah, Kids don't care about that shit. They pretend they do. They don't give a shit about the climate. They, they want to be oh, on yeah. Kylie okay, Jenner's hold, private plane. Hold on a second. They want to own that hold plane. They do not give a shit about- Bill, when you have a podcast, you need to ask your guests some questions and let them talk every once in a fucking while. Whoa! Talk- Stand up! He's had it, folks. For what? He's had it. (laughs) So this was building up. Why? He let Bill go, and he's sitting there steaming until this happens. Plane. Hold on a second. They want to own that plane. They do not give a shit about it. Bill, when you have a podcast, you need to ask your guests some questions and let them talk every once in a fucking while. You've talked quite a bit, and this is not a kind of a podcast where I ask anybody questions. (laughs) Yes! Bill. Bill didn't Bill. miss a beat, baby. I He's love it. He's not going to let that stop him. <laughs> this is not that kind of podcast. Wait, what did he say? It was even more ruthless than Why that. was What's he... It? Here. But why? That's what I mean. It's like these ego guys. It's yeah. all in their own head what is going on. Like, Real, it really I is. Mean, they were just chill. Talking. I mean, wasn't it starting to get boring there for a second? A, you they were all like, think oh, they're, they're, they're like, like oh, did this chitter. promotion. It's like... We're promoting your stupid book. You're not owed promotion. I know. Just you know what I mean? Talk with Bill. When you have a podcast, you need to ask your guests some questions and let them no, talk every once in a fucking while. You've talked quite a bit, and this is <laughs> you've talked con- quite a bit. And he did like the yeah. Whole ten minutes. You've talked over. quite a bit. Was like blah blah soul boom soul boom. We get it. Your therapist, yeah. and you're not saying anything good. It's not funny. It's not good. It's not helpful. It's pussy. Bill owned you. You've talked quite a bit. <laughs> that would be embarrassing if someone said that. Ask some questions and let them talk every once in it's a, a fucking, fucking while. while. You've talked quite a bit, and this is not a kind of a podcast where I ask anybody questions. <laughs> oh, I don't. It, it, is that how you conduct your personal? Who relation? said that life was where you go on a podcast and they ask you questions? Yeah, that's no, why you life is. You're, no, no, no. You, you blew it. Bill didn't even miss. You anything. wanted to be interviewed, Mister Special. Ooh. Imagine wanting to be asked questions. I mean, I can't think of anything worse. When people ask me questions, I want to kill myself. I mean, seriously. That's like the worst So you think you're so amazing that you should just be asked questions. What's it like to be you? And what's the point of telling us about your depression and your therapy if you're not even going to tell us your worst Exactly. That's the best part. Paint the picture, Dwight. 
said that life was where you go on a podcast and they ask you questions. Yeah, that's why this life is going on a podcast and you got to fight to get a word in edgewise. You don't Ooh. have to fight. You haven't fought all night. You've wow. had plenty of time to talk and you have plenty of time now to talk. <laughs> but this podcast is not like those other podcasts, which Hell is yes. why it's doing better. It is because doing it's better. actually interesting and it's actually what I would really be doing with you, who I, I don't it. know. I love it's it. It's immature, man. Adults being immature is the best thing ever. I never thought they would act like this when I was a kid. I just can't believe it. And that's why it's doing better. Why? What drives people to be this mad where they say stupid shit like that? Not only are you annoyed that you can't talk about yourself, but you're so overwhelmed with the annoyance that you have to have an outburst. Like, I love an outburst. And it was a real jerky outburst, too, when he's like, can anybody ever get a fuck? It's like he didn't. That's like when Joe says, America, fuck you. <laughs> you didn't have the guts to really swear. Then don't use a swear. If you're going to use a swear, you got to act like you're about to end this man's life with the swear. You can't be like, what the fucking is fucking wrong with you? That's very gay. It's embarrassing. It's cringe. Don't swear if you can't swear. This podcast is not like those other podcasts, which is why it's doing better. It is because doing it's actually good. interesting, and it's actually what I would really be doing with you, who I, I love don't it. know. I love it. My son woke up one morning. I'm not kidding. He was 18 years old. I came He's in slick. to the kitchen, and he was really distraught. His head was in his hands. I was like, "Walter, what's going on?" And this is absolutely true Sounds story. Like he goes, Walter. I just can't fucking believe it. And I was like, "What?" He goes. The Biden administration approved this pipeline in Alaska. Right. Like, they just signed a Green New Deal a few months earlier, and now they've okayed this gas pipeline, and no one cares about That's it, right. and it's not even in the news. This is his son. Like, don't they even care about my generation? He was distraught. He yeah. was really seriously well, upset about okay. it. He's the conda forever. Yeah, really. Your son is in a fucking Biden? I mean, this is like a fake. My two year old kid just looked up at me and was like, Dad, why is Trump so mean? Yeah. Like, why would. Well, listen to this. Bill's going to serve. That's what though. I mean. He's like about stuck Mike. in the time period before people made fun of guys like this constantly. Yeah, it's he very strange. You don't see a guy like this about... much. No. Generation, he was distraught. He yeah. was really seriously well, upset about okay. it. Okay, he's the son of you. Mm. He's a kid who lives <laughs> in L.A. He's in this kind of world, This what the <clears throat> middle of the country would call the elitist coastal types. Oh. You know? So I understand. I don't think he's wrong. I think it's great that kids, there are kids like that. And there are kids like that. It's probably 15, 20% of the kids. It's not most of the kids in the country. And trust me, I bet you if, if he was, uh, give him a few years, he might be the kind of person who actually would fly on a private jet or would <laughs> love to own one. Okay, well, to calm him down. Have you ever on this okay. kind of stuff well, that's for good. I like that. You thought your son represented all kids, talking about Biden at nine. I just can't believe asking your kid to say something is like the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Nobody's falling for that. Nope. Uh, go to 5440. 5440. You never know what you're going to get on the Bill Maher Club Random show. I said, we give up. Yeah. Yeah. And he looked a lot like James Woods at that time. Well, less anyway, pockmarked. Anyway, um, less pockmarked. I found this to be very fascinating. Oh. I must say, um, I appreciate you rolling with all the... Um... So this is great. This is 54 minutes in, and I don't think Dwight has gotten a chance to really do his big speech yet, right? Like, no. he thought he was going to be able to do a little bit more. Bill's leaning in out of nowhere, 54 <laughs> minutes in. He's like, well, this was great. Watch this. Dwight's a little shook by this, right? I found this to be very fascinating, I must say. Um, I appreciate you rolling with all the um, uh, <laughs> orneryisms <laughs> that I have as a host. Are you winding this up? I have to because there's another guest here. You double booked me. Oh. I didn't. We always knew this. There's we tape oh. these. We tape. You know, for like all TV shows do like this because. Uh, not that this is a TV show. <laughs> Did you get like a flashing light that said second guest is here or something like that? Oh. No, no, no. There's a clock right there. Oh, look at that. Right. Oh, so, wow. I didn't even we see it. We did an hour, which is what we um, did. Um, but... Bill, listen. <laughs> oh! He didn't want to go... That's embarrassing. 
You were asked to You leave. didn't want to go? Bill's wrapping it up. You can't believe it. And you think he's lying to get you out of there? There's a clock right you there. You double me? I didn't. We always knew this. There's We tape these. We tape, oh. you know, for like all TV shows do like this because... Uh, not that this is a TV show. <clears throat> Did you get like a flashing light that said second guest is here or something like that? No, no, no. There's a clock right there. Oh, look at that. Right. Gotcha. So wow. I didn't even we see did it. did an yeah. hour, which is what we um, did. You got to go. Um, but Bill, listen, we may not see <laughs> eye to eye at all in on really? anything. No, we do. I think politically we I do. Think we I think we see eye to eye a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But... I so, I'm really not kissing your ass, but I just honor what you do. Oh, and thank you. you've been an inspiration. Uh, Doing the Schultz. You've made me. Same type of thing, huh? And, yeah. uh, you got to you gotta get out of there. The I waitress you thing. You fucked up all night. You barely came back. My food was bad. The burger was well done instead of medium. <laughs> you didn't ask how it was. You were off talking to the other waitresses, laughing it up. I've been sitting here for 40 minutes after I'm done. You haven't come around to earn your dessert. You're not even trying. And then they finally come. Oh! And you're doing the same thing that Schultz just did. So they want to really clean it up. That's you made insane. a mess and you want to clean it all up last minute. The parallels. This is like throwing a house party, trash in the house and then cleaning it up 10 minutes before your parents get home. It's not going to work. Not on me. Your ass, but I just honor what you do oh, and honor, you've yeah, been an inspiration. You wanted him dead. Uh, you've made me cachortle, and uh, and I think you're See? just engaged in like some of the most valuable Chortle. conversations That's going 2008. on in our current well, I, Western civilization. I truly civilization. appreciate you saying, and I, I really and I truly do. mean it. I, I I could tell, and I coming from you, it means a lot. Yeah. And one reason I wanted to do this podcast or a podcast you can skip to is 57 because 55 because okay. they just do oh nice wow cities. so he tried to get him out of there he's not leaving no they won't stop he conned his way minutes. into a few more minutes okay so let's go to 57 55 see what happens here he told him to leave five minutes ago being satisfaction and wholeness is possible and achievable and is something we can strive for peacock you're not subscribing Turn that around, America. Whoa. Subscribe. Wait, so he's okay, got a show on Peacock. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have gone that. back farther. Yeah. Go to so like look at 57. Okay. Just in case so I don't want to miss he is. So good. he's plugging. This is a little desperate. This was kind of like when Weird Al was on, and he admitted that nobody was uh, signing up for, what service was that? Uh... Um, the... the sling box? No, the... what was it? He was on Weird Al's <laughs> movie, was R. locked into some service that nobody... Roku. Roku. Got the it. Roku streaming app, only available for Fire Stick. Okay, and it had to be bundled in software, so you had to get the Fire Stick Roku edition from Amazon on Prime Day. It was just a limited time thing. That's the only way you could watch Weird Al's movie. He learned that way too late. This is similar to that, where Rain is going to start begging about his peak. Apparently, his Peacock show, who would have thought, is not doing well. I don't think anything's doing well on Peacock. No, it doesn't really seem Nobody's like going to be doing Peacock. You can't just do Peacock. That's not what we're into. Let's hear on this. film so right. that other people can see it. Yeah. And I feel like I approximated it as well as you can under the conditions of a HBO talk show with senators and governors. And, yeah. But it's not like this. Sure. This is like... The, to me, there's really no difference if there had been no cameras mm -hmm. rolling. I would have said the exact same thing, and I think you would have too. I was a little more self-conscious because there's cameras rolling, and I'm like, I'm on Bill Maher's show, and when is he gonna <laughs> when is he gonna jump me ideologically? <laughs> but uh, I agree, I agree 100. percent And and I love that you didn't even ask, and you don't need to ask uh -oh. about my oh. new show on yes. the Peacock streaming service. I told you, called you Rain had Wilson to, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. Geography that, of Bliss. I have plugs too. See, I streaming told you. Streaming now on streaming Peacock, now. where I travel the world looking for happiness, because I, unlike that's a bad Bill, believe show. that happiness, right. well-being, satisfaction, and wholeness is possible and achievable, and is something we can strive for. Peacock, you're not subscribing. Oh. Turn that around, America. Subscribe to the old Peacock. Ooh, Watch Office reruns. That's oh. bad. You're not subscribing, America. Let's turn that around. 
And I watched the trailer for the show. It looks awful. It's just terrible. Like one of those trailers. Dwight looking like, on a boat. It's just seen him looking off the coast on a boat. And it's like, oh, you're really fine. Oh, I'd answers. love to see you travel. Could you imagine watching a guy like we're watching Pia Mockenbach and Vados Kane? We ain't watching you travel. I'm going to Paros with them. No one wants to watch you get off a boat and ask a bunch of silly questions. I mean, you're out of your Turn mind. that around, America. Subscribe to the old Peacock. Watch Office reruns, which old Bill here loves. And Ooh. check out the new Rain Wilson streaming show. Bill, what do you got? You're playing, oh, Chuckles Comedy Casino and Ooh. Bismarck, North oh, Carolina. Oh, shitting on his gigs. On April 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tantrum, uh, last lucky, minute tantrum. Your lucky opening. Bill's so kind hearted. Yeah, your lucky, lucky Bill's in a so great mood. Right now. He's very high, he thinks this is funny. Look at this monster. You come into Bill's home and act like this? I just can't believe I it. I can't believe it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you got? What do you <laughs> Okay, oh. <laughs> but I did warn you I was going to forget. I know, I did. know. You wow. did a the great job. The producers warned me. It's like, the, so Bill is get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you got, you've got to do it yourself. But the uh, the Peacock show is on already? Yeah, it's now. It's just, a, just out for a week and a half, yeah. Okay. The Geography of Bliss. So, Ugh. so you're going the around the world. Yes. Yeah. Like, where's a place that's So now he feels like he's got to ask him about it. Okay. Anything else here? Um, go to fifty nine twenty. I feel like when they get up, fifty nine twenty. Yeah, there's a little mishap here. I think. Let's Fucking see. Fucking cold. It is. Well, I will not be in Iceland. I'll uh, August nineteenth to be at the Ovens Auditorium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, I love Charlotte. August twentieth at the Township okay. Auditorium in Columbia, South Carolina. I love the way they put the Carolinas together oh, on, that's so on nice. these swings. Why isn't there one Carolina? Do we really need why more than a South? Get out of here. Actually, you, you could make the case for the Carolinas. Why are there two Dakotas? There should not be two Dakotas. Totally. There, I'm not sure there should be one. Also, why Delaware? Give me a break. Yes. Who okay. the hell? Right. Get up. Right. He's Maryland got another desk. Just make it uh, Melaware. Ooh. All right. Thank you. Oh. I gotta go. oh. He's Bye, had Bill. It. Oh. Thanks. Are we going? <laughs> Are we hugging? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh look at that hug. Thanks for having me. Oh, this was fun, man. Thanks for being here. Awesome. Very good. Another excellent episode. You can't Club. say it's not real. It wow. is real time. Oh. No, that's the other one. And Bill's none the wiser that's once great. again. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. He did do some spastic posts after this aired, if oh. you're interested in that's that. That's right. What did he do? He tweeted and posted on Instagram. Oh, my God. Let's see this. So, <laughs> this one here? Rain yes. Wilson. Whoa. Rain Wilson miserable on the set of The Office. So reads dozens of clickbait headlines over the last two days. On Bill Maher's pod, I talked about mental health and the struggle for happiness and balance. Discussed being at height of success on The Office and how I still was unhappy that I wasn't a bigger star. This is the human condition, after all. The press took a nuanced convo and made me seem like an ungrateful asshole. Reality of the modern media. It's all for the clicks, baby. Wow, I had no idea he was doing this. He's bitchy! Yep, and he... Couldn't just tweet, of course. Okay, there's another thing. Rain's tweet. What's this? Okay, that's the one we just saw. Rain's IG post. Oh my God! <laughs> We've got a video announcement from Rain Wilson. <laughs> so he took the same text. He put it on IG. He's got a statement for us. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is exciting. I don't think I've seen this. Here we go. On front page news, folks. Clickbait alert. Listen to this. Oh. Rain Wilson. He was mostly unhappy filming The Office, felt he missed out on millions. Uh, Rain Wilson spent years on The Office wondering why he wasn't why are you a reading in that star. Tone? People magazine, The Office says, uh, star says he spent several years really mostly unhappy. Yeah, Rain did. Wilson was unhappy playing you Dwight were, in The Office. That. Yes, that's what you click, said. Click, bait, click, bait. What the fuck? Fast. The more you click, the more ads show and our mainstream media machine moves forward on its ad revenue. Uh, oh. Must have been a slow news day, folks. What the fuck? What happened is, um, in the promotion of my new book, uh, Soul Boom, Why We Need oh. Spiritual Revolution, uh, Soul Boom. I was talking about uh, my mental health struggles and struggles with happiness throughout my life. 
Uh, I also have a show on Peacock called Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss that explores happiness and the seeking and pursuing of it. And I illuminated this point to make uh, a point about the human condition, that even at the height of my fame, playing a memorable TV character, a beloved character on an amazing show with an incredible cast and amazing writers, Emmy nominations, lots of money, beyond my wildest dreams for this weird suburban Seattle kid, even then I felt like I was missing out and I wish I had more and I was okay. unsatisfied. That's what they said. Those years. So. Uh, a lot of movies that I did bombed. I've talked about this before, <laughs> The Rocker and a few others. Wow. Super. And uh, I illuminated this point to make a point about the human condition. You know, this is kind of what we do, us human beings. We're the shoal boom uh, shell. We and I want to talk interrupt. about yeah. how happiness is simply found with where you are. And it's a decision to be made. Well, say your point now. Yeah. So amazing. Um, and, of course, the mainstream media took these three or four <laughs> sentences and ran. Rojan over here. Trying to get hungrily get all of your clicks. Is that what I'm doing? To profit off of my pain and despair and outrage. What? How yep, could this guy me. who's making millions of dollars no. not be happy with where he's at? Ugh, Hollywood. I assumed you made 250 grand for the whole fucking thing and you've spent it all. No one thinks you have millions. Steve Will Do It has more money. Yeah. You have very little money. Elite asshole. Oh. So this is what... Uh, it's like some days, oh. but I hope a larger point was made, which is that um, we're all on a search for deeper well-being, and um, oh, he's it's bad right in front of us. Every single it's one of right us, right in front of us. Thanks. You seem really happy today. Oh, he did the millennial turnoff. <laughs> Holy shit, Rain Wilson, huh? Had no idea. Get on that Instagram. Let's see what else we can make him video eyes. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.